Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a master bedroom dresser. The very first thing you're going to need to do is go on my website and you're going to have to download the template. Okay, so once you have your pieces cut, for the top what I did to figure out what I needed the measurement was, is I came in about a quarter of an inch. Okay, and for the bottom I took that and I lined it up with that and then I took one of my little side pieces, which is an eighth inch thick, and I put it along each side of it, which gives me my line for here to keep it right even along the middle. I marked it, and then I'm ready for that. Now, the very first thing I need to do is I need to take my back piece, and I'm going to have to take and glue my sides to it. So you want to take your side pieces, apply some glue right along the edge, like that and attach it. Make sure it's even with the top and then your right side you're going to do the same exact thing. Make sure it's even there. You can use some masking tape to help hold it if you like. And then I have my middles, which my mark is over here, so I need to switch that. Okay, so I have my middles marked right where I'm going to be adding my drawer. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to lift this up. And I can use a middle in here just to kind of keep it as a spacer. Just don't let it dry itself to it. I want to apply some glue all along the top and if you're working with an end grain which is the area that you cut freshly you're probably going to want to pre-glue it and wipe it off to let it sit because what happens is, is that glue absorbs right down in there and then you end up with no glue on your finished product because it gets soaked into the wood, frame, the wood grain. Okay now I'm going to go ahead and line this up with the back and then put it on there. However, if you want to bevel the edge, you can. You can do that by using some sandpaper and just kind of go back and forth evenly. You can count how many times you go back if you like to make sure that you're getting it a nice smooth edge. Kind of hold it at the same angle. Angle. Okay. Now I've got a little tiny edge along there. If you can see where it meets into a point right there. Okay. Now I'm gonna line it up with my line and make it even with the back. I'm gonna flip it back over to make sure I have it where I need it to go. Squeeze that together, just like that. I'm gonna set my board there for a moment. And I'm gonna let that dry for a moment. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now what you need to do is take your spacers, apply a little bit of glue on them, do it to the back, the top side, and the back side. Actually, you don't need it on the back side. I forgot we made them short to keep the drawer from going in. Okay, so you're going to line it up right there. Take your little stick, popsicle stick or whatever you're using to remove your excess glue. Remove that excess glue off of there. 
Okay, so line that there. Do the same exact thing to the other one. Sorry, that piece of wood had like a defect in it, so I didn't want to use it. Alright, so go ahead and line it up with the front there. Just like that. Now you're going to apply some glue right here. Smooth it out a little bit so you're not like as messy as I am at this moment. Alright. Now you're going to take your middles that you have and you're going to lay them in that space. But before you do, you want to attach some glue on there. And then press it flat. Wipe away the glue that made the mess when you pushed it in there. Because you will have a mess. It's just how it goes. And it's okay because it's in the inside of the dresser and you will never see it. Okay, now you're going to repeat that same process and attach this one here and then this one here. Okay, so something else you can do if you're pretty good about eyeing it up without having that mess is you can kind of just put your glue in there prior and then just apply it to the back side. Just like that. And then you won't have as much of an overflow of glue to clean up. There you go, just like that. Okay, so it should look like this. Now, you can cut these to the length if you want, but we didn't because we just wanted to make sure we had enough space in there for what we needed. Okay, and after that, then we're going to go ahead, put the spacers here, and then attach that. All right, now you have that in. What we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom piece and we're going to sand it on a bevel with the bevel facing up. Okay, now for this one, because this is a little bit larger than my block and I don't want it to be uneven, I'm hanging it over the edge and I'm just kind of going at the same angle like that. And then that's going to give me my little 45 that I need. And you can do the same thing with the other side if you like. And that just helps me get my 45 a little bit sharper on the corners. Hopefully you can see that. You can also use a router if you like. Okay, so now what you're going to do is after you've beveled that, you want to line this up and place it right on top of that to make it even on each side. Remember that you marked it before. Okay, so it should look like that. The bottom should be t wider than the top. And then you want to go back through and remove any of that glue that may have came out on your drawers because that's going to affect your drawers opening and closing. All right, and we'll move on to the next part. All right, so we went ahead and cut this here. And what you can do is I actually cut two because I'm making a second one. Um, you can sand that using the round part of your little homemade sanding block. If that doesn't work for you, then you can tape some sandpaper to a popsicle stick. And you can sand it that way, just like that. Okay, so once you have it sanded, and you've used this to get in the middle there, and you've used your other one to get the bigger part. Just kind of take it around. Make sure you get it all smoothed out so it doesn't look like it's choppy sanded. Like see right there, you just kind of 
go through there and it'll smooth that out that easy. Okay. After that's done, then make sure you're doing this to the front and you're going to glue that right there. So apply a line of glue right here. All right, so now you want to put this right here. Make sure it's even with both sides and even with the front. After you've made that even, wipe off the excess glue. And it should look something like that. All right, then you want to take your two side pieces. You want to put glue on the bottom on this part here and along the front there okay so you want to attach that right there do the same thing to the other side oh, wrong side just like that Okay, now you have your back piece. You're going to put glue along there. Just like that. And you have your glue already in there. And you're just going to fit that right in that space and then square it up. Okay, squaring it up. When you push it even, it should square it up. All right, let it dry and then sand the back completely flat so that you have everything even. And I'm also gonna line this with some glue right along in here, just to kinda, because it's the bottom, to give it a little bit more glue. And I'll have to straighten that up, obviously. Take my popsicle stick and I'll smooth it all out just like that and then we're gonna let that dry all right now you want to let that dry and I added some masking tape to hold it and I'm gonna also add some tape to squeeze it all together until it's completely dry and then we'll work on the drawers Okay, at this point, you can either make a third drawer that look exactly like the bottom two, or you can put a divider in there, the same as we did here and here. I just put a little bit of glue on there, and I smoothed it out with a popsicle stick on both top and bottom, and then I just slid that in there. Now I'm putting some tape on there to hold it until it dries. So it can either be three drawers, or it can be one, two, three, four drawers completely up to you okay so here's an option too for the dresser apply a little bit of glue in here a little bit of glue in here take one of your spacers that you have put a little bit of glue at the top of it align it even with the front here And then do the same thing to the opposite side. Okay, so now you want to add your drawer, same as what we did before. Make sure that it's even at the top. And then let it dry. This is just an option too. You can do this or you can do the other one. And then we'll get back to doing the drawers for both of them. Okay, so... Option two is to cut this piece here. Now you can cut it this size and save yourself some wood or you can cut it this size in addition to the part that's going to hang over right here. So that way it fills in this gap back here. But it's not necessary because you're not even going to ever see that and it's just you can use a scrap piece of wood if you have it. All right. so then once you have that cut then you also want to cut these two pieces here as your dividers. 
Now this is just the optional dresser part. Okay, and then you'll have your bottom that'll go on like that. Okay, so before you glue this, you need to put your holes in here with your stick pen so that you can have your door hinge. And then you wanna mark the bottom and do the same thing here. Put the holes there ahead of time. Okay, so once you have your holes in this, you want to put a little bit of glue on there, and then you want to apply it right into here. All right. Make sure you press it good and tight there. Make sure it's all the way back, even with this and even with that. All right, and then you're going to take these, and you're going to glue them here. I'm going to go ahead and apply the glue and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put this one on the left side of that line. And then the other one I'm going to do exactly the same way, but it's going to go on the right side of the line. And then I'm going to square it up and then we'll move on. Okay, so with your doors, you can sand them the same way we did the tops of the dresser and the bottoms and then you want to bevel one corner or one side the long side so it's more rounded on that side okay so now you want to add some glue on the bottom And then we're going to attach the bottom. Let's leave it on the table. All right, now make sure your back is even and you're even on both sides, the right and the left should look like that all right so then you want to wrap tape completely around it i'm using scotch tape or <laughs> masking tape so that it holds it together until it dries and then the next step is going to be to apply the doors make sure you're putting your rounded side in toward your hinge and then we'll install the pins and also you want to get a cardboard spacer. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to put your cardboard in there and then you want to line it up and you should already have your holes pre-done and you want to put your hinge right through there. And then you want to do the same exact thing to the bottom right here. Okay, so once you've put the hinge through, cut the needles off, and then there you'll have your door. Okay, at this point, both of these work. You can use stick pens for your handles, like the round ones that we used on here, or you can use the ones that are flat heads that we use for the hinges on here. You can also use some larger stick pens if you like, and you can spray paint them whatever color you want. And if that doesn't work for you, then you can use the miniature nails that come with the hinges because 
you get so many of them and if you're like me you don't use them to install the hinges. Alright, so the next step will be to take your drawer fronts and bevel the edges of them because you don't want them to be flat. That would be the difference between being flat and being beveled. Do you see how that looks compared to that? And you'll sand that the same way that you did the top and the bottom because you want them to be on an angle. Okay? Okay, so once you have all your parts cut out, we'll put the drawer together. But I do want to show you something on the template real quick so you don't get confused. I have traced the outline of this dresser on here for you. And this side says the door, which means that's where the door goes. Okay? Right here says divider. The divider is actually this piece here. Okay, so that's what you're going to use. The door and the divider are the same size. And you may have to, depending on how good you are with getting it straight or not, but um, if you have to do anything, you may have to sand your door slightly so that it's not a tight fit because you don't want it to be tight. But if you put it together the way that we did, it should work out fine. However, if you want to leave yourself a little bit of error space, then I would just, you know, cut them slightly down a smidge smaller but you don't have to as long as you know you're accurate with getting them in there all right so the very first thing we have on a template is the large side drawer is over here that's going to be the pieces that are here and down here on the bottom of that one then up here you have the small drawer which is these two up here I'm going to show you how to put one drawer together and you're going to follow that same step for all of it so the small and the large will go together exactly the same way, only difference is they're two different sizes. Okay, so we've talked about beveling the edges. And you want to do that because otherwise it will just not look as neat. So here you have this, I showed you this before, but I'm going to show you again, beveled. And then if we flip that over, it's not beveled. And you can see the difference between the two. If you prefer this, great go for it I don't I don't think it looks nice I think it looks unfinished that way but that's just me so I sand at the edges and I showed you how to do that and it's got a nice sharp point on the corners so you can do that or you can put it on the router and route it out either way works all right so for the first step you have your drawer pieces the two smaller ones are for the side the one that meets up with the back that's going to be the back piece and then obviously the drawer is on the front. Now, in order to make sure you're getting this accurate, you need to put this here and make sure it's even on both sides, upside down. Okay, then you want to mark here, and then you want to mark here. And then do the same thing over here and over here. Because what that's going to do is that's going to tell you where you're going to put your side pieces when you glue the front on. Alright, so make sure you do that. Otherwise, you'll have it to where when you put this on, this may be over here and you don't want it like that or over there. Or it may be up here or whatever. You want to have it neat. So, I'm not perfect and I'm sure, you know, everything in life isn't perfect. But if you can make it as close to perfect as possible with some easy tips, then that's what you're going to do. Or at least that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so for the bottom piece, I'm going to go ahead and just align some glue right across the back. I want to rub that glue just down a little bit to where I can put the back piece on without it squishing all out on the table. Right, and I'm just working on a scrap piece of wood that's flat that we cut out and that's our little work surface. You can work on whatever you have at your house, it's up to you. Now for this one I'm going to put it on the front here as soon as the glue comes out and I don't need quite that much so I'm just going to wipe that off and then I'm going to align it on there. Now you can also put it on this piece all the way around ahead of time if you like but I didn't do that, so I'm doing it this way. 
All right, you want to straighten this up to where it meets, just like that. Move it so it's not glued to your table surface. Right, and then you're going to do the same thing to this side. Just like that. Wipe off that excess glue. Make sure it's even at the back. Take your time because you don't want to have it wonky. All right, now the front, we're gonna apply glue right along here. All right, and then we have to align our pieces. And you might wanna wait for it to dry, otherwise it will do what it just did to me. And you can use mask and tape as well to hold it. Okay, so I wanna align my pieces right in here so that my drawer is evenly spaced. All right, I wanna tape the whole thing with some mask and tape to hold it so that it stops bending on me. Okay, so that's what the drawer should look like once you have it done. And just put some masking tape on it to hold it until it dries. That's it. Alright, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And leave a comment, question, or suggestion below. As well as follow my website for the template under Dollhouse Mentor Madness and Tutorials. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Okay guys, so I showed you how to flip the drawer upside down to measure it where to mark your lines. Now when you're doing the top drawer where you have two side by side, you need to put them side by side and then mark your lines that way because the right drawer hangs to the right side a little bit more so it meets with the edge. The left drawer hangs to the left side a little bit more so it meets the edge. So the fronts are on off center. Okay guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials.com. Also, check us out on Facebook, Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials, and on YouTube. Like and subscribe to the channel because we post videos all the time. And leave a comment, question, or suggestion because we love hearing from you. And if you like Pinterest, we have tons of pens on there as well under Laurie Holden Heisler. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a great day.